everyone today we're going to work on one of these fun landscapes so a landscape of course is just any type of art that shows land um landscapes could be rivers hills trees landscapes could have mountains or trails landscapes can also have animals or other details um and a sky of any kind could be clouds could be rain could be the sun so this is going to be a landscape and we're going to do it with some fun colors and patterns so it's not quite a realistic landscape it's a little more fun and creative so the first thing that we're going to need to do is draw the ground lines now ground lines in a landscape are the areas um, of ground that make up the foreground the middle ground and the background Things that are in the foreground are the things that are very close up to you. So those things are going to appear bigger because they're closer to you. As you reach the middle ground, those details and objects like trees are going to be smaller than the trees that might be in the foreground. The things that are far away in the background, perhaps on this hill here, those would be really, really small. Not in real life, that's just how it appears because of the the depth because it's so far away okay so we're gonna draw our ground lines using marker um, and you can use any color if you have a sharpie this one is created in sharpie that might be kind of fun to paint on later because sharpie will not smear when you add paint um, so let's get started now for this landscape we're actually going to use our paper vertically most landscapes are drawn horizontally but for this one we're going to make it vertical so you should have your paper straight up and down now the way that i like to start my landscapes is i like to start on the bottom the foreground okay so i'm going to draw some curved lines here that's going to be like a big bush and another one over here so those are the bushes now i'm going to do a series of curved lines or wavy lines Actually, I'm going to switch to a blue real quick right here because I want to make that a lake. Okay, now I'm going to get my green again and I'm going to add some more curved lines to show the land. Like that. You could have some going right here into the middle and overlapping or you can have it go all the way across. Maybe you switch to a new color. Like that. And I'm going to do one more right here. Okay. So I'm going to work on my sky. For the sun, I like to do a big giant sun filling up the sky. And for the sun, I'm going to use warm colors. Warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. So my sun rays go all the way to the edge of my paper like this. So it's filling up that sky. Rising above those purple mountains. Okay, the next fun thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some patterns and lines and shapes and designs in each section, in each ground line. So I'm going to use some blue and add some water lines in this little lake that I drew. Okay, I'm going to go and use a green and I'm going to add some spiral lines to these bushes here. like that and then this is going to be just a little grassy area perhaps I might switch to a new color here I'm going to do some stripes and then on this one we're gonna have stripes as well maybe going in this direction
like that. Now I'm going to use this sort of teal marker for this area and I'm going to add some trees. So here's a simple way that you could do trees is like a little triangle with um, the tree trunk. That's just a simple way. Okay, maybe one in between here. So I'm doing a little bit of overlapping. This one is behind these ones, so it's part of the trees hidden. Now, if I'm going to add trees in this section, getting towards the top of my page, remember that they need to get smaller because this area is further away than this area. So these trees are going to be a little bit smaller. These are like little arrow trees. Okay. And then if you had a tree here, this would be even bigger, right? As you get further down, you get closer up and they get bigger. Now I'm going to use the purple and I'm going to add some wavy lines in the mountain. Now if you wanted to make some more realistic things in your landscape, go ahead. This is just a fun way of doing it. I'm going to use red for my sun and add some fun zigzag lines in between those orange lines. And now I'm just going to add a little more details in these areas. I am going to use maybe, let's see, maybe this light green color again. And I'm going to add polka dots here, little circles. And then in this section, I'm going to do, it's going to be a spiral, but it's going to be a square spiral, like that. That's a fun pattern. Okay, so there I have my finished marker drawing for my fun landscape. Now I'm just going to use crayons and color it in. For this, you're going to want to color kind of lightly in some areas because you still want the marker lines to show up. So I'm not pushing too hard with my crayon. Okay, and there you have it. My finished fun pattern colorful landscape. Have fun, be creative.